What's up guys, Frugal BC. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a fun game that actually pays you money. It's called Gods Unchained. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about a game that actually pays you money in crypto called Gods Unchained. Now, it's not a direct payment, it's actually through uh, NFTs based on their cards. But what's cool about this game and I'll explain it in a minute, is that basically you get to keep the value that you that you generate in the game, which is unlike any other game. So I'm going to talk more about that in just a second. First off, I really love it if you'd hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot, helps me out, and it'll help you out too because uh, this channel will grow and you'll get to see more videos. We're talking about all things that generate money, whether it's uh, traditional personal finance stuff or crypto. I've been steering a lot into the crypto lately, as you guys know. And I think there's good reason for it. I think there's a lot of potential. The reason I, and the reason I get in, I don't want to take too long on this, but the reason I really care about, I'm, I'm very bullish on crypto is because I think the technology is going to be very useful. And I think we're at the early stages of the internet with this thing. That's what, that's what I'm, that's what I, I believe right now. Coming from way smarter people than me, but a little fun diversion today. I'm going to talk about God's Unchained. So I'm going to very quickly share my screen. As you can see, what I really like about this is this thing loads like almost instantly. You turn it on and boom, here it is. So this is me. This is my uh, Apple Zoids. If you see me online, you're seeing the guy from Frugal BC. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. I'm going to move this around. So there's a lot to explain here. I'm still a novice, as you can see. Um, but basically, the main mode of the game is that you can play a ranked or solo. I, I've actually never even played solo. I should probably go through. I should probably go through that at some point. I don't know if there's some bonuses for that. So this game is basically like Hearthstone. So if you've played Hearthstone, this is a collectible card game. Uh, and actually, some of the people who worked on Hearthstone and worked at Blizzard are actually in this game, are part of this game, and they've uh, developed it. And uh, the person who used to run Magic the Gathering online, I believe. So they've got a really good team. And this whole thing is built on Ethereum. So it's kind of a, a really cool aspect of it and also sort of annoying because I'll show you one thing. So if you go to the market, you think, oh, cool, you know, I can buy stuff. And you get these little star points here when you win, when you win games. You also get Flux, which is for uh, crafting cards, which makes them more valuable. That that part is actually currently on hold now because the Ethereum gas fees are way too high. Um, I, I think Ethereum is a good technology, but they really missed the part about keeping gas fees low. That just like blew them by. They didn't think about that. So now doing anything with Ethereum is almost, uh, it's not impossible. It's just like, God, you know, I was going to move $15 of compound and it would have cost me $14 in gas fees from Ethereum. Like, what's the point of that? But the other cool thing is you can go to the star store. So I'm going to show that here. I'm going to move me over a little bit. And these are all these are all um, creatures that you can buy with your stars. And this is how much they cost. This is how much I have. So as you can see, I, I'd have to play a little before I got to jump on. And some of these, like these are a daily deal. Some are weekly. And then there's some that just come along. I've never bought one of these. They're just way too expensive. But these cards, what's cool about these is you could turn around and sell them on the market. And right now I believe the market is shut down because of the gas fees, or maybe it's not, I'm not sure. The flux definitely is. So I imagine that the market is too. I haven't tried to buy anything on it yet. You do that by setting up your, your MetaMask wallet. So if you have MetaMask in the Brave or, or Firefox browsers, you can use that to, to purchase things or to collect money if you sell it. So here's the cool thing, like you earn this through the game but you could, sell it, you could sell it and earn Ethereum and then that's your Ethereum. So that was the whole, that's the whole point of this game is like you can keep your stuff. Um, otherwise workshop, like you have, you can build decks. So I have, these are the ones they start with, um, all these ones that say starter. And then I built a tempo, two tempo decks, one for uh, the death god. These, it's, these are like your main characters and one for deception. And they, the, each of the gods have different different characters. So I haven't built a ton of decks yet. Um, open packs. So when you get a pack for winning, 
And they're pretty generous with the packs, way more so than Hearthstone. Like you don't feel like you have to grind nearly as much. When you get a pack, then you click click on here and you drag it over and it makes this little animation. It's kind of cool. Um, you can buy them, of course, too. There's learning for the tutorials. And the forge, now this is the thing that you can't do. So let's see if I wanted to, so I have two. So I could, I could, actually, I think I just click on. I could do that and that. I'm like, ooh, I can make a new card. As you can see, fusing is temporarily disabled due to high transaction fees in the network. Uh, gas fees, Ethereum, way to go. So uh, I want to go through a game. So I just want to play a game. Uh, they have these little cool updates on the side too. I think that's about the only other thing to show you. So, you know, here's my level. I think this is the number of cards that I've built up over time. There's still a lot I don't understand. And there's a lot of things that aren't really that well explained, but I don't know, because I'm level 14. So I still don't know what that, what that means. And I don't, if you remember, like for you, for those who play Hearthstone, you have these rank, you remember the rankings here, they just call them like iron and impact. I think you start out with like rust or rusted shield or something stupid like that. And uh, you gain, as you gain ranks, of course, you'll play harder opponents. So I was winning like crazy at first and now I'm, I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked here, but we're gonna stick with our deception rush deck. Mostly because I'm not very super good at these things. So it's easy to, uh, it makes the most sense for me to play Rush. That, that, that style of play just makes sense to me. Yeah, so when the loading screen gives you these little, uh, these little descriptions of the people, but it's usually pretty quick. Like this isn't so bad. Um, it usually finds the opponent pretty quick. And the gameplay is pretty good. It's pretty stable. I've had a couple people crash out, and so I've won the game that way. I don't want to rank four. That's not good. So you have these like you have these just different. Um, so I like this one. No, I don't like that one. I like either flip or thievery. Thievery is cool because you can take whatever your opponent has, whatever power your opponent has, you can take it. And it doesn't cost you anything either. Plus you get to see the top card of the deck. See, so here we are, ready to rock and roll. This is fine. Death is the other uh, character I use sometimes. I really only switched between Deception and Death. So you, unlike, uh, this is a little better than Hearthstone because you get four char changes. They call them charges, but uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I like having one, two with one, and then on the third turn I'll have three, so I'll keep those. A lot of times you'll get a four or five. And of course, a rush deck is going to have a lot of low-level cards. Uh, let's see. So they're going first. One more creature. And a front line. Great. Good start. Uh, let's see. What's our best option? Regen. Probably 2-2 two, two regen. Or the burn. Actually, I'm going to put the burn out. That's a good idea. What's their characters? The creature without solace. Oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna take that. Old ritual. Okay. So, yeah, I might not have super a whole lot to talk about as I play the game, but I didn't realize there was that little writing on the top there. I never saw that before. Interesting. Yeah, there's other arenas too. I haven't even figured out how to get the arenas and. What? Five two? Okay, we're we're gonna get our ass kicked on this one for sure. Let's see. I got two, so I'm gonna go put him out and the regen. We gotta take out that dude. We can't do anything else. So these give you extra mana. So but as far as I know, you can't add it. So if you have three mana, you can't add it to have four. But if you use like say two mana and you had three, you can add one so you have two again. Look at that, man. Five, two right off the bat. That's ridiculous. So we for sure have to take that dude out. That's not a good start. So they used one of those. That's how they got three on turn two. Because otherwise, how else would you get a card that costs three? They must have used one of their little, they don't have any left, so. 
The other thing that kind of sucks is sometimes people take a really long time after clearly they have no more moves. It's like, just do what you're gonna do. Thanks. All right, now one of my threes are out, so. Oh, I like that, let's do that. Actually, we'll take him out, because I'm gonna take, wait, what just happened? I don't really understand what happened. Uh, what? I can take you out. We are going to take you out. Oh, no, we're not. I don't understand why I can't move. This is really strange. It's not letting. Okay, I guess I'll, that's really weird. I don't know what happened there. I have no idea. I've never seen that happen before. So I'm, obviously I'm definitely not a master at this game yet, as you can see, because I'm getting my ass whooped and things are happening. That usually doesn't happen with a bunch of things are happening. Seriously, man, this guy's got some cards. A seven, four, that's a four. Lovely. I think that's our best bet. We don't have anybody at three anyway, do we? Do I know like this? Some points on the board. I can't take that guy out anyway, so we're just just a waste of time. We really could have used our archer on that one. I have an archer that when he comes out, he deals like three damage. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Also, I don't understand people who attack before they make their plays down, but I like I like to have everybody on the board first. But that's just me. So I mean, it's a really fun game. I don't. It's uh. Of course, I get the guy who's going to go really slow when I'm when I'm live streaming, <laughs> not live streaming, but recording. Uh, I really like that this game is built on Ether. I think that's really neat. What's this guy do? Uh, so they have some sort of afterlife power. Oh, that would have been really great. That would have been really great, but we don't have, actually. Oh, see, you just waste, God. Well, if you have it to add, you should be able to add it, in my opinion, okay. Actually, I'm gonna go like that. Yeah, now we're catching up some points here. I like the way you score. Having the giant frost dead bolt that shot's gonna be great. Yeah, I like that they have that timer. I think it all should be a little faster sometimes. I still don't know what happened in that one because the card was showing that I had a little blue thing around it and it just wasn't letting me attack anything. I've never seen that before. Are you really this confused about what to do? I wonder if it's one of those, I've had this happen before, where people just sort of stop playing. Oh, there we go, doing something. Cause you got five mana, they must have something they can do. Oh, there's a card. Not much time to do anything. I mean, talk about taking forever. <laughs> most most people aren't this bad, from what I've seen. Yeah, you got a card. Good, good for you. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh, that's fun. So that goes on me. Um, yeah, they're looking pretty weak, so I'm going to... Oh, can't do it right away. So, I can attack, so let's take out. Still worth it, clearing the board. I actually thought I was gonna lose this game, but there's a very good chance I might actually win it. I'm not sure what creature, 4-8, great. That didn't help. Dang, man. That deals one damage. That still helps. Yeah. Well. I don't know, should we make them attack us? Yeah, I'm gonna make it. I don't think that's the move. <coughs> yeah, by the way, I'm sure there's some of you that are watching going, what is he doing? He doesn't know anything. I'm just curious what he's gonna do. Son of a gun. <clears throat> By the way, yeah, my cards have kind of sucked on this one. I don't think we're going to win. Well. They have no choice because they're going to win if I uh, take that out, which means I score no points this turn, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> Somehow I've been ahead on the creature count for the, like most of the second half of this game, and I've still been like behind in points. So I haven't done a ton of, I, I, I need to get more cards and I need to start. Oh, come on. That's just not fair. Burnished full. Well, unless I can win on the next turn, I'm pretty much dead. Or if I get a front line, and I did not get a front line, so. Yeah, I wish it was turn a creature in the two one. I would do that then. You can score. All right, we're just going to go out and blaze a glory. I don't think there's anything we can do. That was a valiant effort, but we're dead. We just did not get part of it, so we didn't get the cards. We probably didn't play very well either, but that's OK. Uh, but you can see from the mechanics that it is very similar to Hearthstone. And you're about to win. Can you just win already? I hate when people delay it, when they just sit there staring at it, when they obviously can win. Look, all you got to do is go down one shot, and I'm dead. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, let's mess around. Oh, God. There we go. Bye-bye. So I lose. I kind of figured that would happen when I was streaming. So I'll kind of show you the end screen and then we'll we'll just we'll just wrap things up here. I think this is kind of neat though. Come on. Oh, really? Here we go. Yeah, so you get, you know, you level, you actually gain experience no matter what you do. Um, but you actually get flux. Oh, yes, I went down. 
I got crunched. And sometimes on the screen, you'll get the star and you'll get bucks if you win. And sometimes when you get to new levels, you get a pack. So, so that's basically that. All right, so back to here. Uh, that's the game. I hope you liked it. I, I really recommend checking it out. Um, it's through the well, Immutable X is the company, which you can just go to Gods Unchanged. The file is really small too. It doesn't take up a lot of room on your hard drive. So that's one thing I really like about it too. Um, I, I can't really, I just don't have the room to put. I don't have a dedicated gaming computer because I'm just not that into gaming. I really liked Hearthstone back in the day and I'm liking this game a lot too. As you can see, I've got a lot to learn about it. I'm not that good, but if you see Applezoid, um, just know you're playing against Frugal BC. So hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the game. I highly recommend it. And uh, we'll see you next time.